you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And first off, thank you guys for all the recent support. Things have been doing, I've been doing pretty well lately on the channel. And it's all thanks to you guys for all the support you guys have been showing, all the comments, all the likes. Thank you so much for all that. Try my hardest to get all this content out for you guys. We do have house rules coming today, so stay tuned for that video. That'll be coming around like 11 p.m. Eastern time for you guys. Hopefully, we get some good rewards from that, and I can go forward going over that in that video, obviously. We do not know what the current rewards are looking like, but I'm hoping maybe a Team of the Week boss or a Legend, Nat Legend, or a Nat kickoff player. We do not know what's going to happen, because last week, house rules was kind of ass. I wasn't really a fan of it. They did give us tokens or collectibles, but no one really cared about that. So hopefully that does pick up, but the purpose of this video is to go over what you guys should be doing with your coins now. Again, there's another video, like what to do right now in Madden. It's a video that I do about once a week, updating you guys on like what I think the game plan is right now and how you should be handling certain things in the game. So as you guys see from my coin stack, I have 2.1 million coins with my team still intact. I've been grinding out coins and just saving my stack. Now, the way I'm going about this right now is that like I've been saying, I feel like we're at a point of limbo in Madden. Like if you guys know what that means, it's like we're like in like a state of like steadiness. So like... There's nothing new that's really changing the landscape, but there's really nothing old yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're still getting the legends, some house rules. We have to kick off. Like, nothing really crazy has spiked anything yet. But this next month's going to be pretty crazy. So we got Mud Heroes coming probably within, like, a week or so. And then we got the October promo. And if you guys don't know the Halloween or October promo, it's a crazy promo. One of the best promos of the year. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas promos are typically the most fun times of Madden. And that's coming shortly. The Halloween promo is definitely, it's within the month, obviously. We're the 24th of September, so we have the Halloween promo coming. Pro, I'd, I'd, rec I'd say about October 16th. We usually get it like a week or two before Halloween and starts kicking off. So I'd expect it around then. So we got to start building our coin stacks, in my opinion. Now, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. We're grinding to 9K. We're growing pretty fast. I want to hit 10K by, by the Halloween promo. That's my goal. It'd be pretty cool to say, you know, I got 10K. So guys, let's make that happen. Comment down below what you guys are doing with your coins right now and give me some feedback regarding that. And make sure to hit that like button, boys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. You guys smashed the like button yesterday. So let's keep that momentum going. And boys, now let's get into this. So currently the way I've been building my coin stack, I've made it pretty clear in the videos. I built half this coin stack just going through objectives. The new series has got brought about a great experience and like a great way to gain coins because we're motivated to get them now. Prior to the series two, things were a little dry. So there wasn't much motivation to really like get into it again. But with the new uh, objectives, like Mutt level, I'm telling you guys just real quick, if you haven't already, get to level 60. The coin rewards you get, if you if you started at zero today and you went to level 60, you'd get well over a million coins. Well over just from leveling up. Not to mention solo challenges. Playing the gauntlet got me quite a few amount of coins too. So I'm pretty sure the gauntlet gives you like about 13 to 14K per when you have them all done. So you get like close to 40K plus all the rewards of that. But the way I'm going about my coins right now is by analyzing the market. So what I realized was about a week ago was that the market was like decently high. So I sold a few cards. Because like I said, I think the market is it's crashing right now and it's going to keep crashing. So the way I went about this was that I realized if I held on to my team much longer, things are getting old, right? So like I said, Legends have been in the game, Kickoff's been in the game, Flashback's been in the game. But they're, they're, they're destined to die because... When cards at certain positions get new overalls, like let's say the tight end market, like Shannon Sharp, caps at a, 90, at a 91. Those are, that's the highest tight end, him and Kellen Winslow. So inevitably, when a new tight end drops, those tight ends will come down because with a new tight end being better than them, their prices will come down. Like when Vic dropped, the whole quarter bark, quarter, quarter bark, quarterback market crash. So you guys have to realize that with Mutt Heroes coming soon, Mutt Heroes gives you a position, multiple positions, and at least one of each. Like, there'll be a quarterback, a running back, a wide receiver. Typically, that's the way they run it. Every position gets a new overall card from a certain team. So, you have to realize that with that coming, most markets of every position will start to come down a bit. And the market's already low, as we can see here. Like, over to the auction house, you're going to realize that the market's probably only going to keep coming down. I, it's pretty low right now, but you have to remember that sometimes it's not just the market's down. That is just a new market. So, like, sometimes you can say, okay, well, new cards came out, the market's just down right now. Or it's Wednesday, the market's up. I think this might become the new norm. So, like, these 90 overall legends being at 200K, we might be like, oh, they're down, let's invest them. I don't think it's really time to invest, really looking at it. I, is it time that you could buy some cards for your team? Yes, but I don't think these are investments. Is it a good price for Elways and Philip Rivers and Ted Hendricks? Yeah, maybe they're good prices to keep, but I don't think they're good prices to invest. Like, 
If it was just a month ago and you saw John Elway for 97, I'd say buy it. He'll go back up to 250. But nothing states that he should come back up anymore. He is no longer even a top five quarterback at his position. He's only going to become an older legend. Nothing says that these cards should come back up. Literally none of these cards. Even team of the week, like Julio Jones and them, like, I don't think, I think that's it. Like I said, Gail Sayers when he was 500K, I said the change was coming. Lawrence Taylor, same thing. And look at them now. They, they, uh, Gail Sayers, Terrell Owens, Terrell Owens was a million coins. Now he's 387K because Julio Jones came out. So now with Mud Heroes, I'm hoping Mud Heroes brings a Saquon Barkley. So when that happens, I think the running back market will die even more. And I just think it's going to progressively keep happening. So you guys have to understand that this market is the new norm. I don't see it as a low or a high. I think this just the market is what it is now. So don't see this as a great opportunity to invest. Is it a good opportunity to buy? Yeah, you could buy a team right now. But I'm waiting personally because I built my, I've been telling you guys, build your coin stack and wait for Mud Heroes. Mud Heroes is going to bring about amazing cards in certain positions. And Mud Heroes typically have one great stat. So like last year there was Saquon Barkley and he hadn't fumbled a lot. And he, had, he was known for his carrying. So he had a great carrying stat, let's say. Or they're going to be like Aaron Rodgers is known for his, uh, or Matt Stafford is known for his throw power. Mud Hero is Matt Stafford, 98 throw power. That's typically the way they run that type of promo. So these cards are going to be special type of cards that are going to be very useful. They're going to be sets, solos, and so much, so much more than just that. Objectives. So for that reason, I'm waiting. I'm going to wait for Mutt Heroes to get a few cards. I really just want to say coin out of that. But then I'm really waiting for the October promo. The October promo brings about so many great cards. The most feared cards they're typically awesome they're great sets great solo challenges great promo so for the meantime i feel like i said end of september going into october is typically like the limbo time of madden we haven't really gotten our first big promo yet we never really do our first big promo kicks off about mud heroes and then the halloween promo so for me like i said i'm gonna wait till all these new cards come out because why buy all these cards at their price right now and build this whole team when in literally the next within this next month we're gonna get two promos and we're gonna get card and values are gonna decrease and right now if you bought the best team because they're all cheap you know why everyone's all these legends are so cheap because everyone's selling them because they're anticipating the next new wave of cards in my opinion you always want to get your coin stack up before the next new wave of cards nothing's worse than having a full team going into a new promo you have a full team if they're powered up don't touch them i've been saying that if they're powered up and you spent coins on them you're not making your money back you're actually losing coins because you spent so much on training but cards for me like that are loose like i had alan page just loose I had Willie Brown just sitting there just with the chem on him. You take the chem off. It's no big deal. And by chem, I mean lockdown. I don't mean take off like evasive or one of those big expensive chems on them. But with the new wave of cards coming, in every year Madden I've ever played since Madden 13, I always stack my coin stack before a new promo. Because if you go into the October promo with an all-legend team, let's say, when that promo drops, all your legends are going to be deemed less valuable than they were before, and they're not going to be nearly as good. That team might be the best team on paper right now, but in three weeks, they're going to drop all new cards with better overalls. So those players will come down in value and then you have to sell them all. And then when you sell them all for the new cards, you lose. That's kind of like, that's kind of like the nasty cycle of Madden. If you don't sell your team accordingly, you're always going to keep losing value. It's like a, it's like a card. Just the, the value keeps coming down on it. It's something that you don't really want to stick with. So that is why I've stacked it up. I recommend everyone getting as much coins as they can coming into Mud Heroes. And don't just get every card in Mud Heroes. Get the cards you want, like fan favorites. Like I definitely want to stake on Barkley. And then once I get that, I'll be out and I'll wait. And when the Halloween promo drops, I'll build my team because the Halloween promo, the next one's Thanksgiving. So another whole month. And then by the time that comes, I'll start selling some players off. I keep what I want. I sell what I don't need. So like for me, you come over here. I know what I want. So like Randy Moss, I want Randy Moss. Picked him up. He's training. He's going to be whatever. Anyway, it doesn't bother me. Marcus Allen has already been overshadowed. But again, selling Marcus Allen doesn't make sense to me right now. Because if I sold him for 130K, I already put so much training into him. I might as well just hold on to him for now. Now, Lamar Jackson, he's actually went up in value. He's going to be my quarterback for the foreseeable future. I don't see any other quarterback being faster than him for quite a while. So again, a guy that I can keep on my team. Now, defensively, Lawrence Taylor, a guy that I'm going to have all year, so I don't have to worry about him. Aaron Donald, same thing. Ramsey, same thing. Now, guys that I want to sell off. I sold off Willie Brown. I sold off Alan Page. I sold off, I'm going to sell off Ken Houston. There's a few guys that I realized, like, they need to go. Patrick Willis, I got rid of because they're not going to be the best. I have Shazier and Devin White. I want to be able to keep my team as efficient as possible. So if I'm going to keep them all year, I don't care. They're locked in, done. But now I built 2.1 million coins. When I sell Ken Houston and a few other cards, they're probably closer to like 2.6 million. And then when the next big wave of cards comes out, I'll wait till they get cheap. I'll buy them all. Now I have the next great team. And I didn't have to spend that much on it. Now, if you kept them, let's say I kept my team. I had no coins. When I sold them all back after Mud Heroes drops a Halloween promo, I probably would have only gotten back a million coins. Because you're going to lose probably 50 to 100K per expensive player. Like if I kept Alan Page when he was 350, which I knew would be a good idea to sell him, he's now like 270. I've seen him for as low as 260, 250, and I sold him for 340, 350, around there. So it made sense to sell. 
Ken Houston's already at a low, and so is Mark Allen. So I don't see, I, like, I don't think I have to rush sell them, right? 89's already at 140, 150K. So I rush sell them. I can hold out to them to compete. My team's still good enough to compete in Weekend League. It's just not the best team right now. But that's what I'm saving for them. When Mud Heroes comes in October promo, I could drop a whole coin stack on them, make a God Squad, and go back to competing like that. That is how I like to run it. So just my personal advice and tips would be build your coin stack, anticipate promos, and don't rush into buy cards just because you need them right now. People who needed cards right now are the one, same ones who bought Lawrence Taylor for 700K. People who waited, waited a week and got him for 350, 400. Just my personal advice. When Mutt Heroes first drops, don't go in and just buy the first card you want. Wait a little bit. Let some packs come out. Let some sets come out. Let the market adjust. And then always wait for the market to level out. I hate buying cards when I see like Mutt Hero, Aaron Rodgers posts 500K, 450, 420. You bought it at 450, now he's at 380. Things just start coming down. Wait till it adjusts. Wait till it hits a baseline where like the card just sits at one price and then you could be like, okay, I could buy that because if I have to sell it back, I lose like 20K, no big deal. But then remember the October promo is coming, which is why I'm not going all in on Mud Heroes. I'm going to get the ones I want. Like if there's a Saquon, I'll definitely pick it up and that's about it. Then I'll just wait until the October promo. And then after the October promo, wait until like early November and then start selling some players back that you don't really need. If you really like them and they're long-term options like a Lawrence Taylor or um, a Jalen Ramsey kind of guy, then you just keep them. No big deal, but I wouldn't hold on to cards just because you like them right now. Like, if they're your favorite cards and you want them all year, keep them. But if they're not going to be on your team all year, sell them when their price is according. Like, when it, when it, when it makes sense, just sell them. But guys, it is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This did get longer than I thought it would go. But guys, if you already, if you already liked the video, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button, boys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to comment down below what you plan to do with your coins. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, boys. We're grinding to 9K. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace. Thank you